What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Movavi video editor 2021 tutorial. Now in this video, I thought it would be really cool to create a clone effect because I never really did it in Movavi because of course in all different software such as Vegas Pro 14, 15, 16 and so forth, you guys always know how to do it. But for the people that are subscribed for Movavi videos or people that are watching this video for the first time because they want to know how to clone, there are a few things in mind I want to basically tell you guys so you don't have to reshoot all of these things and all these clips without knowing these proper settings. So so I have somebody joining me explaining, of course, the clone, why you need to keep in mind all these settings. So I would say, let's go ahead and see which things you need to keep in mind of. All right, guys, so it's pretty important that you're gonna use a couple settings on your actual camera and also on your lighting settings before you're gonna record it. So the first thing is actually pretty important that you're gonna set your camera to the manual lighting or manual ISO setting, because if you're gonna use it on automatically, sometimes what can happen if you have certain lamps set up like we have right here your footage will also will get lighter and brighter depending on your lighting and the, even the slightest and the slightest look will look actually different so we have one light off right here and we have one softbox running all the time we haven't shut it off we didn't touch the camera because we already also filmed everything in one take even though it might not seem like we did it it's very important that you keep your camera as still as possible you don't want to touch it so if you're gonna do this outside make sure it's steady somewhere on some sort of like tiles because it's very important that you don't have for example all of these you know shake movements because every little detail that's different will be shown throughout the video because right here of course we have like this half part in it so that's the most important part guys put the auto settings on manual from your ISO and your lighting and just keep everything on one tripod and that is basically how simple it is I don't think I forgot anything so we can get started of course in this Movavi tutorial all right guys so you heard it, it's pretty simple, just a couple settings. So now that we've filmed everything that we need to film, we're gonna import the files into our project onto our computer. With that all the way, guys, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching, and I would say, let's get started with this clone effect in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021, right after the intro. Okay, so now that we are in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021, we have the clip that we shot for the intro. So of course, you wanna basically, like I've mentioned, shoot this in the exact same shot as you will shoot, for example, the left guy and as well as the right guy, because you don't wanna touch your camera, you don't wanna touch your lighting, and that's basically crucial if you don't wanna have any changes in your frame, because even a light bump against your tripod can ruin your whole shot. You have to film everything again, because you will not be able to fix that in post by, for example, resizing it is not going to look realistic so that's of course the reason why you have to shoot everything in one take with the lighting on manual because let's say that the sun comes in all of a sudden your shot is going to be way lighter for example than the left part and it's not going to look equally and clean all right so now what i did is i divided the intro clip that is basically one video i split them and now i have this part where it's, where it's me on the left and then the clone on the very right of the screen explaining so now what we need to do is we need to place the clone that is on the right on the top track of that left guy right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and first we're gonna time it a little bit so when i say like my clone's coming in he's gonna start talking which things you need to keep in mind of all right guys so it's pretty important that you're gonna use a couple settings on your actual camera and also on your lighting settings before you're gonna record it so the first thing is actually pretty important that you're gonna set your camera to the manual lighting or manual iso setting because if you're gonna use it on automatically sometimes what can happen if you have certain lamps set up like we have right here your footage will also will get lighter or brighter depending on your lighting okay so now that we have synced up the clones when they're talking and everything what we need to do is we need to make sure that we will only see the left part on the screen right now and also the right part which is visible so what we need to do is of course like in vegas you guys would also have to like you know select it and mask it and all that but what we're going to do in this software is pretty simple we're going to go to this button at the bottom which says more tools and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on overlay and then we have a couple choices right here right now we have me like standing on the very left looking at my clone so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we, if we click on the top track we are going to drag this guy in side by side right onto the clone that is on the left so this is what it looks like if we drag on the side by side where i'm visible on the right so now let's go ahead and play it back i know 
Alright guys, so it's pretty important that you're going to use a couple settings on your actual camera and also on your lighting settings before you're going to record this. Alright, so now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we will also, while we're recording this, we want to, for example, speak in the text of the clone that's coming in on the right. So when we're acting the first part of the clone, we can actually play back the text, for example, on our computer and we can edit that audio out so you can actually hear what is being told and you can literally like stand next to it and respond to it that's gonna look way more natural but of course right now i didn't do that part because i just guessed like how long it would approximately take for the clone to explain how you film this so for example to save time as you can see if i stretch this more i'm already starting to talk here while i'm done right here so this entire part is still me speaking while i still already start to wrap up the intro so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press ctrl b to split it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this guy right here and then we're gonna press for example right here and we're gonna press Control B again. Then we're gonna copy this part. This is how I also did it in the intro, and that's how you guys don't notice it probably. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste this guy in right here. So now that we also stretch this clip a little bit, let's see what it looks like. In this Movavi tutorial. Alright, guys, so. Alright, so as you notice, the clone on the very right stopped speaking. Movavi tutorial. Alright, guys, so. You heard it, it's pretty simple, just a couple settings. So now that we've filmed everything that we need to film, we're gonna import the files into our project. On so, so with that, so with that, all the right way after. So with that. Intro. All right. So as you can see right now, there are a few, you know, stumbling on words. You also have to cut that out. This clone on the very right also already says like right after the intro. So right before he says that, you want to press Control B to split it. So we're gonna set this guy aside for a second, and then you want to make sure that you will time it up. For example, right here, and have this guy loop. For example, press Control B where the guy is looking into the camera and all that. We're gonna press Copy, press Control V to paste that into, you know, in between these clips. So it actually looks looks accurate that the clone is following along. One right after the intro. And that is basically how to do it, guys. This is how you clone yourself in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. Like I've mentioned, and if this video went by too fast as well, make sure to pause and rewind it and see the steps like putting your camera to manual lighting so it, like the sun doesn't like ruin, for example, your shot if you're doing it outside. Also do everything in one take, keep everything running, your external microphone, your camera, just play the first part. And then you can also have, for example, a different person reading the lines of the second you know, clone so it actually looks like it's a real conversation. It's going to be way more natural and easy to edit as well. And you don't have to go ahead and, you know, wait and guess and paste all these empty spots because I kind of, you know, started, for example, too early. So that's a really, really time consuming, you know, option just to have somebody else read out the words. So guys, that is it. This is how you do it. And there's nothing more to it. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Now you guys know exactly how to clone yourself properly in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a, a like down below. And also let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in like future Movavi tutorials, like certain topics. I'm really curious and I'm always, of course, checking the comments section. So guys, thanks a lot for the continued support. I'll see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's video.